Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about top and DAX function in Power BI. In this video, we are going to learn what this function does, what this top and function does. And we'll also go through some scenarios, some most common scenarios that are used in the real world. So without any delay, let's get started. We have been looking at uh, the COVID-19 COVID data set from uh, Microsoft Power BI for the past few videos. So even in this video, we are going to use the same uh, data set. And what we are trying to, uh, what we'll try to do in this, um, in this session is, we'll try to get top five counties where there are more number of deaths and we'll get least uh, and we'll get uh, the bottom five counties based on the number of deaths. So we are going to um, get the results for these two. And so even in the real world, let's say you have um, a business in 50 cities. As a business analyst, what you will try to, what you'll uh, try to analyze is you'll try to get top five cities where your business is doing well and you'll get bottom five cities where your business is not doing well. So this, this is the most common scenario even in the real world. You try to get top and bottom ones. Uh, this is the way you get, uh, you try to uh, get the top five or bottom five or top ten or bottom ten values based on your requirement. So, so now uh, let's see practically how we do that okay and before going to the practical example let's let's first understand what this top n function does uh, so this for this top n function you are going to input a table okay you're going to input one table and this top n function is going to return a table as well okay so, uh, for suppose you're um, inputting a data set which has 10 columns and um, your data set has 100 records so using this top n function you will get top 5 records based on the sales or based on covid deaths or whatever you will get top 5 records and those top 5 records will have all the columns in in that table okay even for the uh, the same for bottom 5 you get bottom 5 records with all the columns as uh, that you have in the um, input table so now let's go and see how to do that practically. If you look at my screen here, this is a simple COVID-19 tracking report and I got this from uh, Microsoft site. Uh, so in this example, what I'm trying to do is I want to get top five counties based on the number of COVID deaths. And uh, my second requirement is get the bottom five get the bottom five counties based on uh, total deaths total covid deaths okay now so now let's create the um, top five and bottom five data sets okay so as i told you uh, top five uh, top n function it is going to return a table so we'll be creating a table here okay to get the top five and bottom five records so uh, my top five values is based on this COVID data set, right? Uh, my top five values is based on the COVID data set because all my COVID related data is in this data set. So I'm going to create a new table here to get my top five uh, cities, top five counties based on the COVID deaths. Okay, I click on the new table here and I name the table as top five counties okay so i'm going to use top n function and i want to get top five cities so the first input parameter is five and i'm going to get this top five records from covid data set so my second uh, parameter would be the table the data set where i'm trying to get the data from and the data set name is covid so if I just give these two, what Power BI is going to do is it is going to get top five records that are there in COVID data set, irrespective of deaths or cases. It's just going to give me top five records. So uh, when you select this, when you say, okay, you see top five records here. Okay. Even in COVID data set, if you go to COVID data set, those will be the uh, five records that you see, but that's not what I want. I want to 
see the top five counties based on the total deaths. So I already created the total uh, deaths measure. So the third parameter I'm going to give is um, the total deaths. So basically what, um, what, what this third parameter does is it tells you on which on which column or on which measure we have to to order the records whether it is you have to provide that uh, data you have to provide that measure or that column on which you want to order this new data set okay so i gave these three now i because i want to get the top five uh, counties where the total deaths based on the total number of deaths i am going to give descending order here okay so i gave uh, four parameters here the first one is the n value the value the number of records you want to see in the data set and the second parameter is the data set from where you are trying to pull the data from this is the input parameter and the third data set would be um, on what um, on what column or on what measure you want to you want to order the input data set so that's our third parameter and this fourth parameter it's an optional one you can give it either ascending or descending order and you say okay here so now i have top five records based on total number of deaths so if i want to get bottom five counties where the total number of deaths are low i create another table and um, pasting the uh, top five counties and just changing this to bottom five and here instead of descending i'm going to order it in a different way i'm going to use the ascending order here okay i'm just saying okay so now here i have bottom five counties based on the total deaths so this is how you use top end tax function in real world if you think of any other scenarios please do let me know in the comment section below and if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe and see you in the next video thank you